everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and so today i'm going to show you how to use custom icons under the invocable actions under flow so it's a summer 22 new features so let's get started without any further delay so i have some notes about this invocable action can now have their is own unique icons in flow builder so this provides fantastic opportunity for branding and at the glance is of use developers specify actions and through a new icons modify in the invocable method annotation in the apex code for the action so you have to invoke this notation as you know very well like add the invocable method icon name equal to icon so again please watch this video until end and uh, if you need something new under this flow so you can watch until end this video so here now you can see at the rate invocable method then icon name equal to naya, uh, icon name so here you can see the new attribute so you have to implement this one in your apex class so how to do that i will show you in after a few minutes so please stay tuned and now here you can see not that the custom icon are only displaying the flow using auto layout please uh, keep in your mind and here I have some notes that custom icon are only displaying the flow using auto layout not like free form okay so SLDS icon all I did here was add the SLDS path to the icon in the invocable action that is called invocable method annotation piece of apex code so how can I write these things I will show you in here and the format expected ID then uh, SLDS icon category name and then icon name so for let's say example like icon name equals to SLDS and then custom then custom one you, it can be anything this custom one it can be anything based on your SLDS icons so how to do that so first of all you have to create your a Apex class an Apex class here you can see this invocable actions invoke account actions so let me create this apex class first of all let me copy this icon uh, let me copy this name here and go to the org and just search or just click on this gear icon click on this developer console here and after that you can see here let me close all the tab like file new and apex class so you can give the apex class like invocable account action so just click on this ok button now you can see my class is automatic created here after that you have to copy paste that code from notepad plus plus into the your apex class so here after that you have to give this one and here let me remove first of all this one and before that I will show you here what is the output here right and then let me save this so once you've done this apex class now you have to create your flow so it can uh, it be like it can be like record trigger flow so how to create that so let me open my O first of all so here you can see my O and let me create new flow just click on this new button here and once you click this one now you can see the template just click on this record trigger flow create and choose your object as you want let's say account object I want to create only the created and action related uh, records click on done and once you done you can select plus icon under this plus icon this is the auto layout please focus on that this is the auto layout not uh, this feature is not available right now in free form it's only available auto layout so just click on this action and under the category you have to change this type as action apex action and now you can see get account name right so just you have to select this one so once you select it and give this any name as you want like demo and click on this done button now by default you can see this icon here this one this default icon this is uh, understand like this is the apex icon apex action icon right you can easily understand this is a default one so how to change it so under summer 22 uh, it's a new features and we can change it based on our requirement so how to do that let me show you here so just here under the apex first of all you have to go your apex class 
so now you can see my apex class under here invocable method annotation you have to give one another attribute that is called icon name so you have to give like icon name equals to something like this one and where you where you want to find out this icon and where we, we want to use this one so we can use from here like SLDS as you know very well lightning design system just click this one and just click on this icon here and you can search icons and click on this icons under this icon you can see like custom just click on this custom and there is so many custom icons just click on this custom icon here you can see right like tour something like a uh, trailhead alt something like that so we have this kind of custom icon here right so just go down here utility this is the utility I need custom so under the custom you can change it here these all custom here right so based on your requirement you can choose that let me show you let's say I want to use any of the icon from this SLDS let's say this aeroplane I want to use this one so just copy this name and go to your apex class and icon name first of all you have to give this syntax like SLDS then column and which category you have this icon like I have this category like custom colon then give the icon name like custom 20 and let me save this once you saved it okay so now here it's throwing some error let me save this mm. let me check okay and let me check my notepad plus plus because maybe some type mistake so it can be like icon name this one let me copy and paste it here right and just save it and why because it's not showing here because it's a like old uh, org because this is not summer 22 pre-release org that's why you can, you will be get this error that is called invocable method does not have this kind of property that is called icon name so how to use that so you can use latest summer 22 uh, pre-release org I already have so let me log in first of all because it's an old one okay so how to do that just go here and let me click my summer 22 here and let me log in it and here I already created this flow so let me show you again here so just open this one and uh, now you can see this icon means this is a summer 22 release or here and once you've done this now you have to navigate into the flows so let me click this flows here and once you open your flows now I already created the flow same flow as I already created so it should be like under the 22 summer 22 okay so just click on this custom icon I already created here so now you can see here this is one my flow record trigger flow and now you will be see the custom icon this is the uh, default icon here but how to change it so we can change it with the help of uh, like apex class invocable method so how to uh, check it so just let me open this apex class first of all like invocable uh, let me copy this name from here it's easy to find out this name class name here now you can see this class name and now you have to give uh, this here like SLDS colon then custom colon then custom 20 based on your need you can do that let's say I want to use this one that is called aeroplane like 20 okay so how to use that so you have to give like this one so once you save it let me save it this one and after some time you can see my class successfully saved it and now you have to refresh your flow here so how to refresh this one just refresh this one this flow and it's automatic change your icon here just focus on that and here you will be see the new icon that is called aeroplane here it's an aeroplane it's an automatic change the icon right so you can change based on your need let's say I want to change uh, 
this airplane to any kind of uh, icon as we have let's say this car so you have to copy this one and just paste it into here and save it so just let me save it here and once you save it now you have to refresh this flow again before that you can see the uh, aeroplane here and once you refresh it you will be see the new icon so you can change your icon based on your need with the help of SLDS design system Salesforce design system so now you can see this car logo here this is the icon so you can change your invocable method icons based on your requirement so guys I hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is the new so you can subscribe my youtube channel and please keep in touch and stay tuned and tata bye bye take care